All right, we're recording. Let's, uh, welcome guys, uh, Nick White here. So, uh, I do Twitch and YouTube coding and tech stuff. So if you want to check that out, look in the description and you'll see it. Uh, I'm doing a lead code series. So I'm going through all of the problems on lead code and explaining them all. Uh, this is the third one I'm doing. Number nine, we're doing easy ones first. This is called palindrome number. Uh, if you guys don't know what a palindrome is, it's basically like, um, think of the word race car. Same, it's spelled the same way forward as backwards. So we're doing that with numbers here. We just did something like this in another video called the reversed integer. So uh, determine whether an integer is a palindrome. An integer is a palindrome when it reads the same way backward as forward. Well, not too bad. So first we can check, do a base case. And if x is equal to 0, all we have to do is return true because uh, palindrome uh, 0 is a palindrome. 0 is the same way forward as backwards. Then next we can check if uh, zero is if x is less than 0 then it's a negative so obviously it's not a palindrome because no negative number is going to be a palindrome. Or if x uh, percent of 10 is equal to 0 then we're going to return false. So there we go. Sorry one sec. Okay, now we'll get to the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, so, you know, we did the reverse integer where we reversed an integer. So you might think, well, if we just reverse the integer and then we check if it's the same way backward as forward, um, then it's obviously a palindrome, right? So that's an easy way to do it, right? So what we can do is, yeah, we have this. And just like the reverse int video, I recommend go checking that out. Uh, I'll explain it again here, though, really quick. So we could do... This is what I want to explain is, um, yeah, you can reverse the entire integer and do a comparison at the end, but it's smarter to just reverse half of the integer and compare the two halves. Um, that way you only have to iterate through half of the digits in the number. So if you do, well, x is greater than, uh, Ray J, what's leak code? Leak code is a great way for you to kind of um, study for algorithms and technical interviews. So while x is greater than reversed int, because we're going to be incrementing reversed int with all the digits, um, we're going to do int pop, just like the last video, and you don't, uh, is equal to x percent of 10 to get the last digit from the number. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to, in any order we can do this, but uh, we'll just do it, you know, how we did it in the last video, x divided by equals, and divided by equals equals, it means x equals x divided by 10, right, to remove the last digit. And then we'll just uh, obviously increment this uh, reversed int. So you're going to multiply by 10 and add pop for each iteration. Uh, and that's going to reverse the integer until you get to the halfway point. So um, this is, this is going to work perfectly except um, for odd numbers. Um, so in the end, like you have the, re the reversed integer is half of the number reversed. And then you have x is the first half of the number. So they should be exactly the same. So we can just do a comparison. If f x is equal to reversed int, then it's a palindrome, right? Well, you might think that. But actually, it's not um, because um, on, on, in an odd number, there's going to be this extra number. So reversed int, it's going to iterate until reversed int is bigger. So in an, a case where there's an odd number of digits, so like 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, um, you know, reversed int is going to have 1, 2, 3, while, um, you know, uh, x is just going to have, you know, two, two digits. Reversed int will have three digits, x will just have two digits. So we have to... You know, account for that case and to account for that case all we'll have to do is you know or x is equal to reversed uh int divided by 10 all right so if we run this it should work cannot find symbol uh what did i spell reversed wrong or something sorry there it is yeah my bad there we go. So output true, expected true. We'll submit the solution, and my Wi-Fi is kind of bad, and I noticed a bug in leak code where the Wi-Fi, uh, the runtime is dependent on the Wi-Fi, so this would change if my internet speed was faster, which doesn't really make that much sense. But um, see, the solution's accepted. So 
you know i hope you guys understand that it probably make a lot more sense if you go through the reverse to int uh reverse a number problem i just did that right before this so uh it's pretty straightforward uh check it out easy algorithm uh good one to know just know that um using the remainder can get you the last digit of a number and uh, dividing by 10 can pop that last digit so that's how you really reverse an integer and for the palindromes you only have to do half and half because you know um if the first half is the same as the second half then it's obviously a palindrome and account for that last letter that might be stuck in the middle so you know pretty easy algorithm um please subscribe follow me on twitch or whatever and thank you guys for watching uh we're gonna do some more right now so see you guys in the next episode